Oh, microphone, microphone, microphone. Especially seeing as, uh, especially seeing as the, um, it's laundry day. Every day is laundry day here. Um, well, actually not really. Uh, okay, so today, I'm, you know what I'm, I'm painting on is this um, rock I found at GLaDOS at the reservoir. Isn't that lovely? I wanted to kind of do something with it. And I came across this photograph of a, a hummingbird. I actually had the, had the idea of doing the hummingbird. Can you see it? Look in the fuchsia. Um, I had the idea of using of using the stone to do a hummingbird first, and then I looked for the images. And when I found one with the fuchsia, I thought that's the one. So let's see how it goes now. I don't know how it's going to work. I really, I'm actually going to use these um, acrylic pens. I'll just show you the box in there. There's all sorts of pins in there, but it's it's these. Actually, those ones are called chalk pens by Uni. I got them in Costco. They're really nice. And the other ones I've got are um, acrylic pens, where are they? Which are also really good. Where did I get them now? Dorzu, D-O-R-Z-U, acrylic painter. I got them on Amazon or somewhere. Just part of my um, bringing more and more color into my life. I mean, I'm upping the stakes every time because, um, you know, uh, there seems to be like a, a, a kind of a drive to find the brightest and the most beautiful iridescent colour I can. And uh, well, actually, what I did last night was this wee one. See this? I found that stone, I forget where, but it's, it's the same kind of thing. And I made it into um, a butterfly. <laughs> Nearly broke the butterfly there. So that's what I did with the acrylic pens last night. And I kind of thought, oh, maybe for my video today I could do something like that. These are the kind of things I get up to know when I'm really meant to be in my bed. But at least I got to bed a few hours earlier than normal. Normal last week was 4 a.m. Whereas last night it was closer to, I think actually 1 a.m. Maybe slightly closer to 2 a.m. But, um, you know, sometimes I just feel like I want to keep going with things when I'm inspired. I think that's all the, I think that's all the acrylic things. There's one more. So let's see how this works. Oh, it's a very delicate picture and I'm not positive that it's going to work out, but let's see. So I had thought that I would do um, the hummingbird on this part. And I, I was going to do it on the inside and then I thought, no. Hold on. Hmm, maybe I will. What do you think? It might be nice to kind of open it and reveal the surprise. But then I thought the surface on the outside is smoother. And I thought you could have it this way and have the flowers, or turn it that way and have the hummingbird, or have them inside. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Something tells me that having them, having it inside, might be more of a surprise. And I could easily do the fuchsia there. Could I do the hummingbird here? I don't know. I think so. I'm going to get a seat that's higher. I really don't know. Maisie's just here now, she's eating her breakfast, so hopefully there'll be no more want upon her, you see. <coughs> I know you can't really see the screen of the thing there, but sure. What if I do it? No, you can't, okay. Um, all right, so let me start with the fuchsia. All right. You know, I'd like to start with the hummingbird, actually. So it's going to be going up the way like that, with its beak on its way up to meet the... Let me just see how it feels. Like if it's too bumpy, it might be too tricky. Oh, and I want the I want the wings to be mazy shish. I wanted the wings to be um, in the picture for sure. I'm just going to let Maisie out. Oh, where's it gone? I think I did a screenshot of that one. I hope I did a screenshot of that one. I didn't do a screenshot of that one. <laughs> I tried to. Oh, for fact, see. Sorry about my language here. Now. Okay, mm -hmm. let's see. I just want to go back. There we are. Fantastic. Okay. Just thinking there, I guess I should really credit the photographer. 
we will when I um, uh, write the uh, write it in the captions below. I think when you're not copying something 100%, then it's okay to do that. It's okay to use images. That's my understanding. You can put me right if I'm not right about that. Um, okay, so I'm just going to use the bring the belly of the bird down a little bit further. Just let me get Maisie out. She's just going to be barking. Just leave the door open so that she can then open it. Do you know what she started doing yesterday? There's an old seat cover in the garden and she started uh, tearing at it yesterday and I hope she doesn't go back to that now today because it'll create, it'll create quite a mess. So I'm writing with the blue. This stuff is almost like paint direct from the tip. It's really exciting. Okay. Yeah. Let me use the black. Oh. Jeepers. Right. So the black now will describe the back of the head for me. And get a feel for the direction the beak will need to be in. I mean, the beak is going to be tiny, but I'll just start it. Make it fairly thick to begin with, but I think I can paint in over it with the silver, maybe. Silver can be the colour of the stone. That's my plan for now. We'll see if it works in that. I don't know. We'll find some way, though. And the wings, going back. I'm going to bring you closer. I want you to be able to really see. I don't know if it's just going to be shiny or not, but you do your best. There it is. Right, okay. Um, and then there'll be a lovely belly on the hummingbird. And I don't have a huge amount of greens and blues, really. I think we have enough to be getting on with. It's the brightness of them that appeals to me there. And the two beautiful wings. I should have a gold pen as well. Because those wings look gold. Oh, there it is. The wings look kind of gold to me. But I put the cover on this now because these pens. I think I'm going to put the cover on it because these pens, I think, from the mic, <laughs> the mic back on, these things, um, these pens would dry out because I think they're mostly, um, mostly, mostly acrylic. And acrylic, as we know, anyone who uses acrylic dries very quickly on the palette. Just a bit more blue in there. And it's a good thing here that it dries quickly because I want to be able to work over it kind of a purple quality to the tail. And then the gold. Using the gold as a way of describing the um, the wings there. The light coming through the wings like like fish fins or something. No, is this silver? That's silver. Hmm. I think I'm leave the silver for a while. I'll use some yellow here on the face. a bit more of that green because really if I can get it to stand out now over the black that would be quite good as we're just dotting it on I hope the black is dry I think it is okay. well, it's all still looking a bit crude but I have faith Mm, I use white. This is the acrylic one then. Yeah, that's not that's not thick thick enough that white. And actually I've only just done the beak, so I suppose I should leave it a while. And my plan had been to use the silver for the background. I'm gonna stick with that plan. 
in order to reduce the size of the beak. Oh, look at that. It's quite bright, isn't it? But sure, so is sunlight. drawing the dark upside of that wing again. There might be a bit of to and fro with the edges in this. Well, that's, isn't that great? That's silver. I love these pens. Now the gold actually, that's brighter. The wing is brighter than the background here, so I think instead of using the silver for the background there, I might actually use black. Yeah, I think I'll use black. Oh, I can hear her starting on the mattress outside. Or the seat cover thing. I'll be foaming all over the garden. I better catch her. Um, black. Let's see what the acrylic silver is like. That's okay. They're slightly less iridescent, I think, than the chalk. So I might use this more for the back of the bird. Front will be the um, brighter silver. There's a little foot coming down there. So. to come out a bit further once the silver is dry I can use the, the black and extend the belly forward a little bit more again mm. Mm, it's okay I'm not sure it's such a brilliant kind of image for this really but the way that I'm doing it you know I'm not convinced by it but let's just stick with it now black yeah, I'll just redefine some parts, like the wing in front here. So, um, there's somebody coming today who's a, he's like an eco cleaner. He uses all kind of, um, you know, planet friendly products like vinegar and stuff for cleaning. And I've enlisted him now to come and he's going to have a look at the house today and see what he's in for. And then he'll come back on the week of the 14th and um, we'll actually do the clean on that day. And it's just to kind of get, get in gear for decluttering things, you know, getting, getting making, making space and this morning I took the car over to the to the garage for uh, its MOT and I cleaned the car I went to the garage hoovered like for ages I put in three tokens so it's like six minutes each time and then after that I um, after the hoovering I bought some wipes and cleaned the windscreen and then I use the wipes to clean the interior as well. And some of the girls' um, makeup wipes actually I found in the car. I know they're not great now, speaking of environmentally friendly. But at the time, they were there and handy. And the 
longer I'd still use them though. I'd be trying to get them onto the old um, non disposable ones. Uh, anyway, um, so I cleaned up the car. So I'm feeling fairly refreshed just now. And I guess I'm believing that it's possible. Just letting her mind to things that it's possible. Oh, Maisie's not even in the garden. I thought she was dismantling the seat cover. And she's right here beside me. This is shocking, isn't it? I don't think that's great now, but it kind of needs to dry really before I do any more to it. So why don't I just do fuchsia on there anyway? I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. I think, because it, it's quite a good stone, isn't it? And like I want to do something. I don't think the hummingbird and the fuchsia together are going to really work. To go back to the drawing board with this one. Drawing board. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very wet. It dries quicker on paper. Anyway, well, why don't I just do one fuchsia here? These are my favourite. Favourite flower for drawing. They're a great structure. You never know when the fuchsia is dry, I might come back to it. No, when the hummingbird is dry, I might come back to that. But the bumpy texture of the stone is a bit tricky for this kind of work. I think because the pins are already quite clumsy size wise, it's good to have a surface that's then flatter. So I'm not in my dressing gown, and it was, I was out of my dressing gown at like um. In fact, I didn't even get in it today. Straight from pajamas to clothes, because Erin wanted to get a lift to school. She woke up a bit late, and I thought that's an opportunity now for me to get going and take the car straight to the garage once I dropped her off. And so I ended up going and got, um. Hoovering after that in Sainsbury's, but yeah, I didn't want to turn up obviously at the garage in my pajamas, so. Got all of my pajamas fairly swiftly this morning. Hi. And then I was thinking the jury is still out as to whether this is a diversion from jobs that actually need to be done, or if it's a worthy thing. I think this kind of playing about, mm, it's kind of dubious really. It's like I wanted to just quickly tick the box of doing a video, and I thought it would be a bit gimmicky. I didn't think it would be gimmicky. I thought it would be great. But it turns out it's a bit gimmicky. <laughs> and it's not even drying quick enough for me. So I'm just feeling a bit annoyed by the whole thing now, to be honest with you. How am I going to get gain some ground back? I could turn it over. And uh, you see with this one, the two the two bits are um the two bits are the same size really and they're flat against the table whereas these two one is much higher than the other but i guess i'm going to still go with that i'm going to work with it being higher than the other and i'm going to make another butterfly wing because that was so much fun and i think it could work it could work it could work on this one you're watching thinking she's flogging a dead horse isn't that an awful thing? I was listening to someone yesterday saying how um, how desperate uh, our use of language is in this country. Like how we, you know, saying things like killing two birds with the one stone. Like I don't want to be killing birds. 
that kind of thing. Like saying stuff in everyday language using violent, quite violent terms. Now flogging a dead horse, that's quite a violent thing to say, isn't it? So instead what I mean is, uh, you, you might think that I'm um, scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Maybe that's another one. That's not too violent, is it? <coughs> but I'm not actually really enjoying this. You can tell, like, the colours are fantastic, aren't they? They're so bright. And I think this thing of, like, dotting it on makes them even more iridescent. Um, I'm just making up a picture of a um, butterfly. Maisie, get off. Making up a picture of a butterfly. Just, it's lovely having an opportunity to use my imagination fully here. Right, I'm going to start doing some sort of pattern here now, maybe, for the pink. I should probably shape them to make them even brighter. But they're bright enough, aren't they? I'll just put some pink there to kind of indicate where the butterfly begins. This orange, orange is one of my favourite colours. I think it's taking a little bit longer to try here now than it was last night in my bedroom. Maybe to do with the flatness of the stone or something, or the fact that the door is still open since I let Maisie out. I took her out late last night because I was um, I was out and about yesterday, and she didn't have a walk, so I took her out in the evening then. I mean, Lily plays with her in the garden and things, but it's not really the same as her having a good run about. When she doesn't have a run about like that outdoors, she ends up belting around the studio like 40 or 50 times. Actually, that's not true, that, not that many times, but she goes so quick like you can almost not see her. What am I doing now with this? I'm just gonna Well, that was a great idea with the, the hummingbird, wasn't it? To say goodbye to that idea. This is the kind of thing now, if I'm doing it on video, I'd need to have the hair dryer on standby. Because the main thing I really love about these pins is working over them. Maybe with the opposite colour, like the purple and the orange there. Well, blue and orange are opposite, but you know, the purple and the orange, I think, um, I'm determined to break it. The purple and the orange uh, really stand out from each other because they're opposite on the colour colour wheel. Blue and orange are, op are opposite, purple and yellow. But you know the thing of putting the opposite on top, like I could put, um, I think maybe the purple is dry, let's chance it. I was going to put yellow on top of that purple, just to test. I'm going to do it up here maybe. I think it seems dry enough. Those little droplets stand out in relief and so they hold the colour. the brightness of the colour more than if it was just drawn on. So dotted on makes it stand out in relief. Right. And of course a bit of bling doesn't go amiss either, like I'd be looking forward to using the silver and the gold here somewhere. Do you know what did I use? Oh I had it. silver and gold is used in the bottom wing there in that one. So, I ended up taking the car to the garage and I'd say they might drop dead when they see it so clean. I mean, I think sometimes they put the plastic on the driver's seat in order to keep their overalls clean rather than to keep the car clean. But um, today it's a different car, it's be beautifully clean. So I'm quite pleased with myself. And I even took it through the car wash as well. Like the outside of it was getting so that it looked as though it had moss growing under the cracks and actually the top of it had some sort of sap I think from the trees so um, I maybe need to keep on top of that a bit more you know the car wash I wanted to wait until I had Lily with me because she loves it and Aaron but I thought no I'm just going to do it and even if they desperately wanted to go again it won't be long before it'll be dirty enough bit of an adventure the car wash. They get slightly panicked. 
but also I uh, really love the whole drama of that, you know. Cheap thrill. Right, no, I think the black worked in the background, so I'm going to do that here again. At least just to shape. Oh, I should probably do the antennae first, though. And I think it might be quite nice to leave the natural stone some in some places. Of course, I'm going to be planning what I'm going to have to eat now as well today. After, um, yeah, what I might do is after this, now I'll go back. I'll go on to my my commission and painting a, a portrait of a dog for Christmas for somebody. It's a, a surprise for her husband, I think. And um, beautiful dog. But I've made it so far, and the colour's good and everything, but I feel like I've made him fluffier than he really is. So what I'm going to be doing now after this is taming down the dog, making him less fluffy, more sleek like he really is. It's a Labrador, like. Beautiful coloured Labrador. Chestnut-y kind of colour. And after I've done that, then I thought I could watch the results of Strictly Come Dancing. Don't tell me who, who's out this week. The results show. I loved Ranveer's dance yesterday. I was in tears actually for a few of them. There's so much passion in the dance. Really lovely. I'm talking about Strictly Come Dancing that's on in, um, in the UK at the moment. So after that then, yeah, so I thought I'd get some, I'd make something nice to eat for myself. Maybe I'd eat the food first rather than be distracted by the dancing. I want to enjoy my breakfast too. Okay, now what else? You see the antennae? What colour would they be? I haven't used the green yet. I'm not such a fan of the green. Can I see what it looks like? I really was thinking of doing the antennae green. It's okay there. You see red and green there excite each other as well. They're opposites in the colour wheel too. No, I don't want to do the antennae green. I want to do them silver. Make little spirals. So I've got calendars um, in the making. If anyone wanted to order one, let me know. I say in the making. I haven't actually heard back from the printer since they sent him all the images and the quotes I want to go in and everything. So I wonder if he's losing the will or something. My first time getting this particular printer to do them. They've been designed differently before. Every year. It's been somebody or something slightly different from the previous year. I mean, this is only the third time, so. But um, I'm hoping there'll be an email from him now to say, Your calendar is looking fantastic. So there's 50, I'm going to get 50 printed and I think people have claimed about 30 so far so if you did want to get one, let me know. And of course if you did already ask me, don't worry, your name is on the list. You know how organised I am. Seriously, your name is on a list. I have actually got a list. Midnight did start eating that very list last night. She tears paper. I don't know if you're cats you've got cats if they demolish paper. Midnight has um, torn corners off my sketches before and things with her teeth. She really loves the whole drama of that she's like fully in her power when she's tearing paper with her teeth. It's like she's on a very clear mission to demolish. Right, what about gold? bring the black in around the antennae, will I? I think I will. And the silver is probably still a bit worth to be carving it so fully, so I'll just go up here first. 
acrylics and get some white and do something with the white and the rims. Quite like using white as well, just for that you know immediate gratification thing. Seems to be the way in my default setting. That immediate gratification. Do you know what? Now that's um got some red in it, so it's coming up pinkish, which isn't very satisfying. Still, I think I'm getting away with it there. It's okay. And into the blue here, I might do something too. And why don't I do a circle? And a circle over here too. And what colour am I going to put in the circle? Actually, first I'm going to do some dots in the orange. red more red I want it to be a bit more vibrant there I think it's try not to do a few red dots coming out you, you guys if you're if you're feeling kind of excited by this you have to give it a go it's great fun drawing and stuff Found objects or whatever. It doesn't have to be a stone that's open either. You could just have two stones, like. But um, very satisfying. I can imagine Holly being quite a nice thing to do, wouldn't it? With the these pins as well as a Christmassy thing. And maybe some mistletoe. Although it could be a bit dangerous if you're hanging a stone over a person's head in order to get a kiss. Depending on the person. Right, I'm going to make these into a little bit more delicate now. Not sure. I've been very careful with my, with my black line there. And actually, you know what? My eyesight isn't 100% on. Like, I, I'm seeing a little bit out of focus. Not bad now, it just and it seems to depend on the day. Sometimes my eyesight seems to be still very clear. But there are times when it seems to be diminishing a little bit in one eye in particular. And so I've got that half closed eye feel even when I don't want that. I often say it's a good thing to paint and draw with your eyes half closed so you eliminate any unnecessary detail. But occasionally it is nice to be able to open your eyes fully and see. Clearly. I can see clearly now. You knew that was coming, didn't you? No. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> it's, it's never, it's never going to be a Michelangelo, is it? This, this uh, carry on. But it'll sh cheer me up, and I do a bit more orange there. And some orange here, just for like a, a bit of a kind of connecting body-like thing. Hmm. Yeah, the thing about butterflies is their symmetry, isn't it? So, and it's slightly disturbing. I might just do a a little extension underneath this this rock. Slightly disturbing that it's not as thick as the other one. Um, so I'm wielding the gold pen now. Let's stick a bit of gold in there. Well, that's not very satisfying. Come on. Um, what would be satisfying, I would imagine, would be a bit more red. That red is just on fire. Maisie's off out now because Cindy, our lovely neighbour, gives Maisie bones regularly. 
and any time she hears her voice music will be running out she, th she might be in luck I'd say and you know very often she is but I don't want her to do that carry on like begging when Cindy's on the phone or something You could keep going with this rage as, as I discovered last night at um, 2 a.m. like I was saying. I had the I had the determined um the determined thing of you know, at the age of fifty you know, I thought I, I could be going to bed at ten o'clock really. But then I thought to myself that was maybe a too big a jump having had so many late nights during the week to expect myself then to be in bed by ten suddenly out of the blue. That just felt a bit you know, at one o'clock I thought to myself, Don't be giving out to yourself too much go to sleep in the next hour and then you'll be at least three hours earlier than you were you know than I was last week this is impatience now going in before the gold is really dry there to cover it with the purple so it looks yucky oh, for God's sake. I can go over it again now that <coughs> now I'd say the silver the silver antenna could be ready for another little another go This one too. Mm -hmm. And that's over there, didn't I? I think I could do it a bit more purples on in the bottom half. So I need some darks there. Maybe alongside the yellow. Some colourful dark. So if you haven't got acrylic pens now but you have paint, you could use acrylic paint and a tiny brush and do the same stippling thing. Just keep your brush really clean or have a few small brushes. And uh, that should be the job. And if you don't have if you're not happy with any pattern that you do, let it let it dry or use a hair dryer. And you can work over it again. That's the joy of this approach, like it's fantastic that you can just work over things. Maisie's making noises in the living room that are slightly worrying. So I don't think there's anything she can really damage too much. Anything too precious. All the shoes are on top of the piano. She might be eating the coach is the only thing. She does have a rooting, a rooting, what do you call it, instinct. You see now, impatience again there. Not waiting for the white to dry before doing the purple. Made it um, bleed a little bit again. But I don't, I don't tolerate that, it's all right. I'll go back after. Let's stick a dot of purple in again. Mm. Bit more bling. Bit more bling. Right, where can we put some gold? I'm gonna try and make it be gold. Like when you press it hard, it gets a bit golder. Maisie. It's a bit disturbing. I have no idea what she's up to. I'm just gonna check. Slipper. I don't. I thought they were. I thought they were up on top of the piano. And she's also um. She's also taken a nice piece of driftwood that I had found, and she's dismantled that as well. But yeah, that's um Lily's slipper. Now that's um. Totally, totally banjaxed. It's her second time getting that one, so at least it's not a new. It's not a new um. A new thing that she's demolished it fully. It was already half dead. Which you would be amazing if you eat more shoes in this house. She got a nice expensive pair of trainers a couple of weeks ago too. I 
I don't know what we'd do when the piano goes. We need to actually discipline our dog. No. I'm being a bit harsh now because actually she's doing okay and we really love her. And actually she's a happy enough dog, you know. I don't think she's um and she's she's never gonna be malicious, thank God. It must be really hard for folk when their dog turns out to be a bit of a you know, really quick cross towards animals or people. And Maisie's not got that gene, thank God. So the main danger is that she might um, jump up on a clean pair of trousers or eat stuff when we're not looking. They're the two main things actually with Maisie. Stealing stuff. That's not meant for her. And um and yeah, jumping up on things. I think I'm going to stop there. I know it's not a hugely satisfying um, oh geez, the camera's down low there, it's weird. So I feel like I'm looking okay, there you are. Um, not a hugely satisfying thing, but let me turn it up so it's facing the right way. And there, might, there might be something more to do there. So we've got a blood, butterfly there. It looks awful on this side. Hummingbird and a fuchsia there. But anyway, we got, got there in the end, did something. And um, it'd be lovely to see your somethings so if you would like to do um, some kind of um, thing on a stone. And you could, if you're members of the 30 day group, you could always um, post your images on Facebook. Bye. See ya.